Now a £500 million hospital building in Brighton will open its doors to the public in a week's time. The development at the Royal Sussex County Hospital has been 15 years in the making and is the first stage of the hospital's rebuild. Our health correspondent Mark Norman has been taking a look at the new premises and seeing how they compare to the Victorian buildings currently in use. This is the Barry Building at the Royal Sussex County Hospital, a purpose-built hospital, state-of-the-art facilities for patients and staff. Well, that was certainly true 200 years ago when it was built. Today, it's not fit for purpose. But look at what's opening its doors next week. new £500 million hospital building that from next week will see patients receive care in some of the most modern clinical buildings in the NHS. George, give me the big picture, I mean, the significance of this to the Trust. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really important to the Trust. So, so this is an enormous build. Uh, it allows us to move uh, all of our wards from the Barry Building into this building. And the Barry Building, whilst it's been a great place for patients to receive care, the environment's not fit for purpose. Uh, each bed space here will have five times as much space. Patients will have much more dignity, privacy, and staff will be able to do the right job. Many of the staff have been waiting years for this moment. So we've been part of this planning process. We've watched it dig a hole in the ground and slowly come up. So to actually be stood in the building today, knowing that within a few days' time, we're going to be bringing our first patients into the building is just really exciting. So it's completely soundproof? It's not completely soundproof, but Close. it's very, it's meet, meets requirements what for audiology assessment. So we use it for hearing testing. And so this has been a long time in the coming, and we're moving from the, the bottom end of the Barry building, really dingy, not fit for purpose. This is just fantastic. So, as you can see, we're right by the beach, and I think this is probably the first time us as a department have actually had this view. We've got lots of green spaces in this building. We've got over 1,400 trees and shrubs that we have planted. It's um, so much bigger and brighter than what we currently have. Um, it's purpose-built, and it's really designed for the 21st century and, and beyond. We've always known we're good at looking after patients, but what we really wanted was the environment in which to do it. Because you can be very, very good, but to do it in a, an 1828 building where you're ducking to try and miss the ceilings is not the ideal way to look after patients. Patients will begin treatment here next week, more seriously ill patients towards the end of the month in a phased opening of a hospital that will definitely be fit for purpose. Well, Mark joins us from outside the building now. Mark, it looks incredible, those views over the sea, and I know the government's billing it as one of their new hospitals. They are. I mean, it is part of that hospital programme, but of course the planning for it, indeed the building of this beautiful hospital, as you say, started long before Boris Johnson came up with that hospital programme. One of the other things, Natalie, the Prime Ministers won't tell you, it's one thing to build it, it's another thing to move patients into it. Some of the critically ill patients, some of the most seriously ill patients this hospital deals with, will move from one building into the seventh floor here. Now, that's not easy when you don't have two departments, two sets of staff, two sets of equipment. You have to really look after the patients. One big upside is that some departments that have been working in split buildings will come together under one roof on one floor. That's hugely advantageous. And of course, recruiting and retaining the very best staff, that helps enormously when you have one of the best buildings here in the southeast. So radically different from the Barry building that we saw earlier, which is really 200 years old, built before Florence Nightingale became a nurse. Compare that to this, the newest hospital in the NHS, Natalie. Quite a thought, isn't it, Mark, in Brighton? Thank you.